All right. Hey, what's up guys? Sako is here. God, I'm so excited today. So excited to share this with you. So if this video pops out, it means that I succeed in my latest project to build a 3080 Mini. Yes, finally. Um, as you may notice on my channel, I really like small form factor stuff and especially small GPUs. So I used to get the 1080 Ti Mini the 2070 Super Mini and then after that there was no high-end cards that was shrink to you know the downsize and when I saw the 3080 Founders Edition PCB that is like one 190 millimeters long I was like why no brand is making a mini version of that card it's theoretically possible and so I get my hands on a 3080 Founders Edition and then I just jump in. And here we are. The first prototype of a 3080 Mini. And yes, it works. So as you may notice, so here in the front there is a 3080 Supreme X from MSI. Uh, it's the 10 gig yeah, 10 gigabyte model. And uh, the 10 gigabyte model. And this one is way longer. It's like 30, 33 centimeter. While the mini I just created is 200 millimeter long only. So um, at the market you'll find like 3060 Ti, 3060 mini that will have just 200 millimeters. So I choose that dimension. And also um, I couldn't find any other heat sink that was, you know, longer than 200 millimeters so yeah here it is so what i just made to, to build this 3080 mini is to take the founders edition pcb from the 3080 i buy uh, i bought a uh, full copper heatsink that is 200 millimeter long 80 millimeter width and it's about two centimeter thick you know the height i mean uh it has around 70 pins on it well but it's working then for the back plate I just bought um, a copper sheet that is 10 by 10 centimeter by 200 millimeter and one millimeter thick that's way enough for the back plate and that's all well no okay I just got also two Noctra fans this is the A9 14 90 millimeter fan um, these are really quiet, so actually they are running at full speed, they are connected to the motherboard and maybe you're gonna hear them a little bit, but I definitely can stand just next to it without any... That's, that's so good. Okay, um, then what I made is I just dismantled the 3080 Founders Edition and I just look which uh, parts of the... Um, the PCB was um, was cool, so the memory, the VRM, the die itself, of course, and I've seen that there was some cutoff uh, in the heatsink itself. So there are some components like the uh, inductors and other chips that are not in contact with the, the heatsink. So I had to cut inside the copper heatsink. So I just put some some picture there. I did not film the whole thing because it took me like days, maybe not days, but a lot of hours to, to make that uh, to make that working. So I just cut inside the the copper uh, heatsink to make it fit, and then I just drill some uh, 2.5 millimeter holes, and I bought that tap and die set to make the screw footprint to hold on the the, the heatsink on the PCB and the backplate with it. And I just used the same PCIe bracket that it was that it, 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 it was on the, the 3080 Founders Edition, and then I assume that we are we're good. Uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna do a, a full chat on in this video. That is just the proof of the, the working concept of it. So just basically take a big heat sink in copper and arrange it to make it fit to the PCB and throw some fun on it, and that's cool. It's working. Um, of course, of course, there's uh, some compromises. 
uh, it cannot cool hold the power of the 3080 from this edition so I had to make some uh, compromises on the power so actually I'm running at 75% of power but I'm okay with that it gives me time, a time spy score of 15,000 so which is respectable it's still more than a 3070 Ti which scores around 14,500 something around that and while um, a 3080 stock will will run about 17,000 to 18,000 which is I think it's okay and on many games like Overwatch or um, Warzone 2 the difference is maybe 5 to 10 FPS so it's completely okay while the temperature remains around 60 to 70 degrees so I'm, I'm totally fine with that um, so, so that's it uh, what's next so in in the next video when I will probably finish that project I will do a full tear down and I will explain uh, all, all, all the different parts but now what I need to do is um, some aesthetics because there's the bare copper on it the fans are just you know just I just put them in place just to see that if it's working um, but now what I need to do is to connect the fans uh, to the graphics card PCB to the, the 3080 PCB because on that founders edition models um, the fans are connected using that ribbons cable and it's not um, there's no no I mean there's no adapter yet to go from that ribbon stuff to um, the actual um, sort of Molex pin for the fans so what I've made I bought these ribbon cables so these are standard one it's um, it's uh, one millimeter thick wire there's six connections so six wires uh, one millimeter width and there's a pitch between different uh, between the wires of 0 0.5 millimeters so that's that's standard one it's working and um, what I need to do now is just to figure out which one are the 12, the 12 volt, uh, which one are the ground, which one are the PWM, PWM um, wire, and which one is the tachometer. So I just um, so for now with a continuity test that there's two ground and two uh, 12 volt um, wires, as there's six of them, and you only need four for fan. So now, next step is that I will use uh, a scope to, to, to see the signal actually. I will solder some, some, um, some bigger wire on that, put it on the, the, the graphics card and so in real life the, um, the, the signal. So yeah, that's all I, I want to say for now. For now. Um, just to show you that it's working, that's probably the first one in the world. I believe I'm so happy and maybe it's gonna give some people or company any ideas because it's possible and right now there's no such small PC that fits a 3080 um, desktop and that's possible I mean yeah that's it guys so I just uh, gonna put the result I I obtained for the some benchmark I made and in games and so you can compare eventually with your card or what with what you may want to do with it. Okay, so see you guys next time.